Greece's debt will never be repaid. There's 350 billion euro of debt. There's $8 billion of interest. The government generated 2 billion euro of surplus this year. After five awful years of austerity, it has two choices. One is either an Argentine-style default, and the other is either to term out the debt for 100 years with the 0% interest rate, which is the same thing. I think uh, what's happening with Greece and uh, in Europe right now is the question, does the Eurozone continue to do what it's doing, or does it break apart? Are we worried? We're always worried. There's always uh, the possibility of the worst. But I think that it's just, it, it's the best thing for everybody of some kind of compromise that will happen. The problem is, how much are the, is the Troika in Germany willing to uh, give in? Uh, the Greeks, I think, will give in because they don't have a choice. Germany is going to throw the new administration in Greece two crumbs, a legal psomi, siga siga, give this current government 1% of what it wants. This government will go home to Athena and declare victory in a, in, in a monumental success. Um, and the Germans will do the same at home. It's just that simple. Um, the word in English, which may or may not translate, is kicking the can down the road. We will kick the can down the road again. Well, kicking the can down the road just simply means, as you know, <laughs> is they're not doing anything. They're just, yeah. you know, it's just talk, talk, yeah. talk. But uh, they should really be proactive in how do we increase the private sector? How do we motivate people to create jobs? How do we create businesses? I do agree with this government that austerity is a failure. Austerity has caused a first world democracy to turn into a second world nation. And therefore, Europe has to deal with Greece's debt. But what I also said today is, is that Greece needs to institute Anglo-Saxon reforms. The current status quo does not work. And do not let the government be sort of stopping mm -hmm. that. They should be cr innovative and in creating mm -hmm. that. It has one of the highest corruption rates in Europe. Uh, people don't pay taxes, you know. Do a flat tax, no. then everybody is equal there. The markets are anticipating some kind of resolution there. And when I say resolution, I mean that there will be some kind of temporary uh, pushing of the can down the road. Hopefully get them through the end of July and just pushing out the actual problem. This is something that another Greek regime will have to deal with and another German regime will have to deal with down the road. It's going to take a while for them to come up with some concrete resolutions to solve the problem. The only actual solution is for all parties to acknowledge that the debt has to go away. On German banks and French banks' balance sheets, the Greek debt is held at par, which means 100 euro on the euro. We all know that's a joke. That debt will never be paid off. And therefore, the European bank stress tests, uh, as implemented by the ECB, or a fraud in a total joke. They're going to have to extend the debt. They're going to have to raise the amount of bills that they, that, that they issue. They're going to have to take measures where they'll lessen some of the austerity. But I think uh, the Troika in Germany are trying to hold uh, steady. But at, at some point, uh, the fear of Greece leaving and the contagion that, that occurs, they'll, they'll come to some compromise. Is an economic matter the Evro is a total, utter failure. You cannot have all of these states in a common currency with different fiscal policies, different monetary policies. But the Evro is a political idea. I do not believe in my heart of hearts that Germany and France are prepared to allow for a Greek exit from the Evro because it would ruin the idea of Europe. Greece has less to lose from leaving the EU as Italy and um, uh, Spain have. 
you know, they have much more manufacturing base than Greece does. Therefore, they're much more intertwined into the European community than, than, than Greece does. So they need that more than Greece needs them. And I think at the end of the day, there will be a, not a, a solution that makes sense from a monetary, fiscal, economic perspective, but from a political perspective, that you cannot have Evropi and I think what Greece needs to do, in my opinion, is they need to expand the private sector. The governments take care of people, I understand that. But innovation, creativity comes from the private sector. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they have to be able to do in Greece, and we have to continue to do here in America, is make sure that uh, the kids and whoever, if they have a great idea, they can start a business, they can mm. become successful, and, uh, and there's no hindrance to doing that. From what I understand, there's a lot of hindrance to doing that in Greece. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is the people that are thinking that way, it's called the brain drain, they leave. Speaking as a professional institutional investor with six billion dollars of assets to invest. I would invest in Greece if and only if there was a fundamental, comprehensive, visceral, complete change in its regulatory policies. Greece would have to convince the global institutional investment community that it has adopted capitalism and then we would be willing to invest. We've, over the last few years, have continued to look at uh, the opportunities there. But it's, it's important that uh, we are comfortable that the laws are enforced mm. and in that, uh, like I said, it's a much more uh, building the private mm. sector. I think at the end of the day, there is a glaring question. Is this bold stance that the current government is taking how is that going to affect the outcome of Greece and eventually the rest of Europe? Assuming one way or the other, it's going to affect Spain, it's going to affect Italy, and it's going to affect the whole European Union. We feel that there'll be some kind of compromise. The alternative is that there is no compromise and, and Greece would have probably have to leave the euro. And that's a serious issue. And that will cause global markets all over the world to be in, in chaos.